Hey guys, it's Jonah. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is today's video is going to be about BookTube. If you don't know what BookTube is, it's basically YouTube, but about books. So if you don't know, there's a whole community on YouTube called BookTube, and they make videos about books, and I love it. Uh, most of the time, they'll show themselves reading or do reviews or challenges, and I love it. It's a very different community than the normal lifestyle community, I would say. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite booktube videos to watch because, I don't know, maybe you watching this want to start a booktube channel but don't know what to really post. Like, you like you want to share all your love for books, but what do I make? I'm here for you. This is also for me because I also have, I, I also need ideas. Yeah, a lot of these ideas came from Emma Books, whose channel I'll link below, and it's popping up on my screen. Um, she is one of my fav she is my favorite booktuber. So a lot of these ideas came from her channel because she that's who she that's who I watch. One thing you can do is make a video about a one one specific book. So you could vlog you reading a book that's just been released and it's really been being hyped up and you can read it from start to finish while also I guess documenting your progress recording your progress kind of like a video diary type thing you're vlogging um, every day while you're reading this it doesn't have to be very long clips you can do time lapses of you reading you can do little updates every now and then um, I personally like videos where you're talking about the book, but you're also showing yourself reading it, because I don't want it to just be talking, 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 you know what I mean? Um, along with that, you can also just make a week-long video of you reading, so basically document your entire week, kind of like a week of my life, but also show yourself reading. Another one that I think is very fun for you to just film in general is do different tags or make a tag that you can do. So a tag is like a bunch of questions or prompts and you do or answer that question um, accordingly. So say the tag is the unhaul challenge. So, or the unhaul tag. So you read a question or prompt and It'll say something like a book you haven't read or a book you don't plan on reading again. You'll find a book, you can form multiple books, and you'll take it off your shelf and get rid of it. That will could help you organize and get rid of books that you don't need. Another one that's really popular is just reviews in general. So not showing you reading at all, but after you're done reading, you share what the book is about and you t share your, your thoughts on it. This can be spoiler free or spoiler alert, spoil, spoil, whoa. That could be spoiler filled, which doesn't, I don't know if it doesn't do as well, but it would probably be easier to film. Uh, so you could either do spoiler filled or spoiler free. Another one that usually does well is, it's similar to the reviews. Um, you do a recap of what you read for a month. So say it's January and you read three books. So, you'll make a video talking about those three books. Uh, that can be sometimes really easy for some people to film or really hard. So, I guess change the ideas accordingly to you. Like, maybe you don't read a lot each month, so you do every couple months. Uh, maybe you don't even do every month. You do just one whole year. Uh, it's up to you. You do you. I mean... Obviously, make it you, yourself, and make it unique. You gotta be yourself and stand out, or else you won't get very far on YouTube. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Another thing you could do on BookTube is an unboxing. So, there's a lot of publishers or different companies that have different subscription boxes for like every month that you could subscribe to, and they usually come with a book and little knickknacks according to a theme and you could get that box and unbox it on camera and show your true reaction of the 
box and it's also like a review. Something else you could do is make a video all about how you read or where you read or your reading style. I don't really have like a routine or specific places I read, but some people do. So you could share that and you can share your tips on how you read and how to not get distracted easily. Cause I know a lot of people can get distracted, but maybe you have tips on how not to be distracted. And maybe you have tips on what music to listen to or where to read or when to read. Another fun video kind of similar to that is make a video about your reading nook. So if you have a reading nook or a specific place in your room or your house that you have specifically for reading or for books, show that. I want to see that. I'd love to. I'm interested. That sounds interesting. You can also do shopping videos. So obviously shopping vlogs are very popular on YouTube. If you watch vloggers, they'll usually be shopping and that's that's very popular to watch, right? Right. Well, you can share yourself shopping for books, which can be a very interesting What's the word I'm looking for? I That can be a very interesting process, especially for me because I'm very picky when it comes to books. And shopping is di very different for a lot of different people. So you can share how you shop for books or just show yourself shopping for books and see where it takes you. Also, you there's not just tags that you can do, there's also challenges. So you can do challenges like, for example, shopping for only three minutes. I would struggle with that. Um, shopping blindfolded and trusting the person you're with to tell you whether it's a good book or not. Go with the good person. You could do letting a stranger pick your books. Also, very risky, but also probably very entertaining for you and your viewers and the stranger who is probably like, um, okay. Another one you can do, which is very fun and very in the now. Is that the right term? I don't know. But TikTok, very popular, very addicting. Everyone's on it. Billions of people are on it. I mean, billions. So you can make a TikTok, but based on books. So you know those like funny ones where they'll add the captions and it'll be like, how how so funny. Yeah, you can do that with books. So you can make it your own. You can literally just like make it something funny and relatable about reading or recreate a scene from a book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one you can do is one that I like. You can do a video all about Bookstagram. Bookstagram is similar to Booktube. It sounds more fake, but it's not. Bookstagram is Instagram, but about books. How I would have never guessed. So I like this because you can also show your artistic side in like photography. But I have Bookstagram. I'll link it right here and in the description. But I only really post like book reviews and what I'm reading. And I like to post a lot of nature. I love nature. So you could share how you edit your bookstagram pictures, how you take them. I love videos like that, like behind the scenes type videos. So yeah, those are just some different types of video ideas. There's obviously way more, but I love you guys. And let me know if you guys make a booktube video account channel or if you have a bookstagram account. Um, and let me know if you make any of these videos. Uh, and I will probably be making some in the, in the future. Who knows? Okay. Bye! <laughs>